Hey guys, welcome back to Icarus Modding. Uh, this video is going to be like part two of the previous video I did for version 1.6.7. Uh, this is more directed toward guys that are creating mods and wanting to get their mods added to the database in a simplest way they can. I uh, created a basically a form on here that will help them get get there uh, if you go to settings make sure you enable mod developer section uh, if you're not creating mods for Icarus you're not going to want to create this or enable this because it you could possibly mess up your currently installed mods so you'll enable that save the changes and you should see this button on the right show up as soon as you enable it once we do that We'll go ahead and open this up and you'll see up on the left. This is the section is only for modders, mod developers. Uh, what you're going to want to do is create a list of all the mods that you want to add to your GitHub. So for me, mine's called my full mod list. And to create that list, you'll just go into here Let me clear this list. And go through all the mods that are currently yours. So any mod that you want to add to that list, you'll just go through and double click all these. Uh, I have mine set up typically to where I have a separate install for my mod manager that has only my mods that I release. And you can right click this and add all mods to install list. And what that will do is take this entire list and put it right here. Once that is done, if these are obviously, if you have some of these mods that aren't yours, you can just clear from list or hold on a second. Do that again. Remove that one from list. So if you scroll through here and you see some mods that are not yours, you would just clear them. From the list try this again move from list move from list like that until basically you only have your mods that you want to release in here and then you would right click save list and it will pop up you can see that's where my full list mods list is you would just give a name like same thing my full list of mods or my release mods and then click save Go back in the developer form, click the dashes right there, and you will select that, and all your mods should show up here. The next thing you want to do is where it says select output folder for release files to be placed. You're going to want to click on a folder, or I have on my developer drive, release mods is mine. So all the files that it creates will be show up in that folder. And then you're going to, if you want to be part of the database, you're going to want it to create the mod info, JSON on the left there. And then you can select either create pack files, X mod in the newer version. This is X mod Z. And then this is both. If you want to create both. So I'm just going to create X mod for mine. Uh, the benefit of Xmods is that this is just a zip file of only the changes that that mod contains. So that doesn't expire every week. So once you create all your mods in that form, you can host them on your GitHub. And unless they do a major change in the game, like maybe a DLC comes out or something like that, you don't have to re-upload your mods every week. Is that that file only can cha contains the changes, so there's no need to update it every week. Anybody that downloads it and installs it in Icarus Mod Manager will only be installing the changes that it makes to the game. So once it gets installed into Icarus Mod Manager and then merged back in with other mods installed to the game, that's when it adds in the game's current week default JSON files. And that will be merged right in with those and updated to be installed into the game. 
the uh, next section here, you just put the author, you just have your name there, and your def these are the default values. So if one of your mods doesn't contain this, it will use this instead. So just, I have 1.0, compatibility is all, because the Xmods file format doesn't, it's not a weekly thing. It should be compatible with all future versions of Icarus. And the next section is your GitHub prelink. So what this is, is in your main, Icar your main uh, GitHub page. So if I go to mine and go to my mods section, that would be this page here. So in order to get this, if you click on any one of your mods and then right click on the download and select copy link address and then go into here and paste that in there and then just delete that mod. So you're gonna delete all the way back to where that file ended and that would be mine right there. Just like it, the example I have below would be that. Once you do that, if you already have a git info or a mod info, sorry, JSON file, on that GitHub, by clicking this, it will actually download that git info and display it here. And you can see this one has the new format where it has files, xmods, it uses the file instead of the previous API file. Uh, by doing this, it, can, it will allow you, if your mods don't currently have the new header for the xmod file, you can actually get that from this. Or you can get it from the database also. So you can do it per mod. So if you click on that and say yours doesn't have anything in here, you can just get info from here and it will search through here find this mod and transfer this information into these into these edits here and then you can click save uh, if you don't want to do you can do that individually so you can kind of have some control over what they say and you know if you want to change the description or what i do the first time you do this you'll see this attempt live update to all mods in list if you click that what it will do is go on the database, right, move this down here and download mods. So we use uh, Dexter for example. He has all these mods on here with all this data already entered. All the descriptions, the versions, author, compatibility, everything's already entered into this database. So there's no sense in re-entering all this in for all the mods he currently has on here. So what this button will do, it will go through here and automatically update every one of these header files in the xmod with that information. And you'll get a little pop up here that says it was saved and it goes through one by one and you can see it changing, downloading the one so you can kind of see in real time what it's doing. And you will go through every one of your mods and it will update them. As you can see, each one that does it, processes it, it has this pop-up come here, come up here saying confirming what it did. Uh, if you don't want this much detail in here, you can disable it by this confirmation check box up here by save changes. Uh, if maybe the first time you do it, use this. If you have a lot of them, you probably not want to go through one at a time like this. But you can kind of go through and see exactly what was added to the xmod file. And if, like I said, if you don't want to go through all these, if you just uncheck this box. If I just close this out. So if you're not worried about double checking every one of them. Like I said, you can uncheck this box instead of going through them one at a time. And then when you click the live update, you'll see it automatically starts going through all of them instantly.
And once it's done going through all of them, it will give you a confirmation saying that they've all been updated. All Xmod files have been updated. Uh, once you have that all done, if you click on your mods up at the top, you will now see that they all contain that information that the database had. Once you have all that, you can now create your files. So you're going to select, like I'll select Xmod, make sure your create mod info is in place and then just click create all. And it will start going through and create every one of them. And it'll tell you on here exactly which one it's going through. Once that's completed, I'll show you the mod info file that's created. Uh, this assumes that like mine and several others, they have all their mods available on one GitHub page. Confirmation, let me close this. And you can see what shows up right here in the middle of Icarus Mod Manager. This is all the stuff that was created for the mod info. So you can kind of see it. It just uses this as a template for you to see it, but it will actually save this to a file. So if you close that and then open up your file that you selected to store everything in. Mine was released mods. You'll see that it created the X mods file for every mod that was in that list. And if you scroll down through here, you will also see that it created, if any of them had the images, PNG images in their folder for the image only, you'll see it copy them and rename them to the mod for you. So anyone that had the image only or like the little icon, inside Icarus Mod Manager. It also added them to this same PNG format. It just renamed them to the mod that it belongs to. And also your readme files are also on here. So it automatically copied your readme files with the data from that on here for you. Uh, and then if you find your mod info JSON, you'll see that it says created mod info JSON. I did that because I didn't want to overwrite. If you guys already had a mod info JSON stored in here, I didn't want to overwrite that because it, it's a lot of work to type it all out without something that does it automatically. So I didn't want to override that. But if you open this up, size this properly you will see that it has all the mods on there the bare mount the version compatibility all the description the image url that was created like i said that's use that's usually the image only png that you have inside your mods file mods folder to view inside Icarus Mod Manager. It's renamed and added to this list automatically. And then it creates the link for that mod to be on your GitHub. And like I said, this assumes that you have one GitHub page that has all your mods and images and readmes all in the same page. If you have multiple pages for each mod, you'll actually have to go through here and modify this, but it does give you basically a list of all your mods it gives you a good head start on it so i hope that helps you guys out to get to get updated to the latest format and make it easier for the community to find out what what the mods do and just more information in general uh the API for this shouldn't have to change much anymore. There was, we made a lot of changes in the last few weeks. But what that allows us to do is when you click on a mod inside Icarus Mod Manager, 
you now have the virgin, the virgin and the author, which helps compare it to the database to where you can see which mods have already been installed and everything else. So that's the main reason we switched to this new format. And I updated the XMOD file format to reflect that. So if you right click on these and edit mod, you can see the new header, the name, author, version, description, and then the file name. Uh, the file name is basically is the name of the mod pack file that was originally used to install the mod or it will be the name of the xmods file too that's why i have the file mod or file name added there because some of the names of the mods i didn't want you to be limited by what you could call your mod where it had to be like file name correct so you can have spaces in it and uh special characters and stuff like that to make more sense of, for a name of a mod instead of like some of the mods are just like one big long word even though they're separate words normally you can actually do that with this new system so i uh, hope you guys this helps you out a lot um look forward to more mods being released and if you have any questions or anything uh, we'll be more than happy to help you out on our GitHub, which will be linked below. And we'll catch you guys on the next video. Uh, if you enjoyed this, make sure you like and subscribe and take it easy.